Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thank you so much for checking in today. I'm out here again in my backwoods playground. There's no better place to showcase this next item. It is the TOPS Snap Kit. Now SNAP stands for Survival Needs and Preparedness. And this kit was designed by David Williams. If folks don't know David Williams, he's a retired Marine. He goes by the handle Norseman. I'll leave a link to his channel down below in the video description. He has an awesome YouTube channel. He's a survival instructor. He knows his stuff about the backwoods and about survival. Well, he teamed up with Tops and came up with this snap kit. It's a little mini survival tin. A lot of stuff in here packs a punch. As always, we're going to cut away. We will do a quick specs rundown of this kit. We'll break it down and then I'll come back and go piece by piece talking about the capabilities of this kit and if it will work for you. Come along folks, it's gonna be a fun day. Let's break this kit down, let's get into the meat and potatoes. First thing, Ranger Ban. Don't need to go into all the uses of a Ranger Ban. Ton of them, have a nice one there. Tops Whistle, as always, comes with every knife, standard issue with all their stuff, they work, awesome piece of kit. We open it up, got a little ID card in there, so if they find your dead body, they know who to call. That's always awesome to have. Has a little compass. And what I like about this, this is more than just your little standard cheapo button compass. You can rotate, you can actually navigate with this, and you can put that on a zipper pull if you needed to. Now, here is the snap blade that the Norseman designed and snap stands for survival needs and preparedness so as a marine I'm sure he can tell you that you always got to be ready that way you never have to get ready have some surveyors tape in there so if you need to leave a trail it's where they know where to find you or know where to find your remains got a cotton pad in there with a ferro rod, great combo. Fluff that up, get some of your tinder going. Have a sailing needle, pretty robust needle, high quality, and some uh, micro cordage as well. Fishing line with two hooks here in SoCal. That might be a little rough for me, but you know, you never know. You come across a reservoir or something. Safety pins, valuable piece of kit. P38 can opener. May come across a hunter's cabin. Might have some supplies in there. Here is a signal mirror. Pretty robust signal mirror. This one's made out of metal. So you can be seen and a magnifying lens so if you're like me and you lose your reading glasses or the real purpose is to start a fire with the power of the sun so a lot of great items in this kit now let's cut away and we'll showcase some uses of the snap knife so here's the snap knife up close and personal now it has a 90 degree cutting surface and it looks like it has almost a chisel grind. I'm gonna have to get a hold of Tops to find out about that. And when I do, I will annotate it down in the video description below. But um, obviously you stick your index finger through there and then what we're thinking is Kind of using it like that chisel. Now, this was designed so it, it doesn't scare folks if you're using it in an urban environment. They don't really know what it is. But with a 90 degree cutting edge like that, that would make a formidable self-defense tool if you had to. So not saying that you're going to put the hurt on somebody, but I mean, if Darwin hops in there and somebody's 
decides they're going to get a little insane in the membrane today, that might be an option. But as you can see, I can make little micro curls with this. And that's all you're really looking for anyway, right? So how do we do it as a draw knife without cutting myself? Let's see. I'm cupping it in my hand like this. There we go. Just got to be careful. But like with any tool, you just have to use it and know the capabilities of that tool to be able to maximize it. So you could skin game with this, clean fish, do a lot of different things. And you could always have it on your person and a lot of people aren't going to get freaked out because it doesn't look like a traditional blade. But as you can see, look at that. Just nice little paper thin curls. Now, a lot of you folks probably ask me, John, will a baton wood? You know, I'm such a huge fan of batoning. So we're going to try it for you guys. So I'm just using a small little limb. Say I had to make a one stick fire. And the way that that, what I'm going to call chisel grind for now, the way that chisel grind, when I'm not breaking my baton, look, it just splits that wood really, really good. So if you're in that survival situation where your primary knife is gone, at least you still have the capabilities to be able to do something with this. And look, you could also use it as a scraper. So if you had fat wood and you were trying to make that dust in order to get that fire going with that ferro rod, I mean, it's going to make fun, nice, fine dust. Also, I'm seeing these three holes would make really good lashing points where if you had a long stick, you could lash this too. So say if there was fruit in a tree or something that you needed to get out of a tree that was way above your reach, you could use this knife to cut that down to be able to uh, utilize that. So a lot of different capabilities of this blade I'm sure I've missed that the uh, Norseman had in mind for this as well. But, you know, just if you had uh, meal prep, chopping, you could slice meat with this. This is razor sharp, so there's no doubt that it's going to do the job. Let's see if we can light this fire with this ferro rod that came and the snap tool. Now, in an everyday situation, I wouldn't be using my cutting edge to strike the ferro rod, but there's no 90 degree sharp angles on here to do that. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe hold it like this and nope, I have to hold it like this to use that chisel to kind of direct the, uh, the sparks. So in an emergency situation would probably be the only time I would use my cutting edge to do that. But capable, starting a fire. Now for some final thoughts on the Topps Snap Kit designed by David Williams, the Norseman. I really like the contents that they put in this kit. It was very well thought out. I even like that snap card knife. Uh, it takes a little bit getting used to that chisel grind, but once you get used to it, and remember, it's gonna be a survival knife. Uh, I like the fact that it doesn't look like a traditional knife. So if you live in suburbia like I do and you have it in your lunchbox, people aren't gonna get freaked out that you got a weapon on you. But also, if you need it as a self-defense weapon, you could use it. Uh, as with any kit, 
it's only as good as the experience that you have with the kit. So you need to get out here, you need to practice the skills with every piece that's in this kit. You gotta bust it open. You got to know that the ferrule rod's gonna work, the can opener's gonna work, the fishing line and hooks, the surveyor's tape. Go out and play drills like you have somebody lost and see how long you can survive, maybe an afternoon or an overnight with this piece of kit exclusively. Uh, without the knowledge, these kits are gonna be useless. So you always wanna seek knowledge and know these kits 100% and have the skills. That way you're prepared and you're not scared. Um, if I had to rate this kit on a scale of one to five, and you know my rating system, one, it's a dumper, it's gonna go to the boneyard, right? Five, it's a grand slam, we hit the ball out of the park. I think the Norseman did a great job. I'm gonna give this kit 4.5 stars. Um, only thing I would probably change on this is maybe a little bit of the angle of the grind on the uh, snap knife. But I'm sure he's skilled woodsman. He knows how to use it. And I just need to up my game and learn my skills a little bit better. So with that, A plus rating, 4.5 stars on the channel. If you're interested in this kit, I'll leave links in the video description below. And I'll take a moment, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We have a lot of great programming lined up this summer, a lot of good stuff. We're always doing zany, ca campy stuff, acting crazy, and uh, you might get a laugh or two out of it. So hit that subscribe button below. Uh, follow along on social media for all the links. Stay current. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. I won't bore you with the details. All that stuff's in the video description below. And as always, folks, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Now get out and use your darn kits, man. You gotta know your kits. That's my rant. Take care, folks. Bye.